art has a very long history in investing its focus on how to touch people in ways that makes a difference for them. Introducing criticism, questions about not how I do things, but why I do things. Why do we do everything? I was fortunate to grow up in an environment where culture was a part of the everyday life. My father was an artist, and when he was painting, I would look at him and I would say, well, I might not like the painting. I'm interested in why he's so happy when he paints. And then I realized, well, if I'm gonna make art, I wanna see if I can take what my father felt or why he was so certain of what he was doing, and if I can connect that with what we call the art institution. Making art, you're very focused on who are you working for? Are you making decisions on behalf of somebody else? Well, no, you're not, because you're making decisions on behalf of the artistic project you're working on. I grew very confident with this potential that art has to be kind of connected to the world, producing reality, being a reality machine, and yet also criticize the world and be, let's say, socially engaged in the world. I started working with environments, large-scale installations, much more immersive type of works where you would walk in and you would start to evaluate what walking in would actually mean. Art has the capacity to verbalize something that you feel but have yet not verbalized yourself. My projects is for me not necessarily all synchronized. They are not necessarily also agreeing. And sometimes some of my projects have fights within themselves because they say, oh, you cannot do like this and then also do like this. The truth is that in front of a work of art, I think we can create a space in which you can be together or you can share ideas without having to agree. This means you can be singular and plural at the same time. This is how we would want democracy to look like. I think making models is the first stage of bringing an idea into life. An idea is not a work of art. It's really not about anything yet. Very often people say, oh, you know, I had this idea. Is that a great work of art? And I say, oh, no, it's an idea about a great work of art. And then from there, of course, we need to also to understand, well, what is the context? Is the meaning in this? No, it's not. The meaning is in the conflict or in the sort of celebration between this and society. The artistic potential is not in the object as such. It is in the way that the object produces reality. In a society where you feel that the political system is ignoring you, maybe one can take artistic potential and push it into the field of environmental awareness building or access to energy, uh, such as the Little Sun project I'm working on. It's actually a little lamp, an LED, and it has a solar panel on the back. In here, I have five hours of sunlight. I can take that with me home tonight, and in the evening, I can use the sun from today later tonight. And, and that is pretty much the story. It turns out that every fifth person in the world has no access to energy. In places such as Africa, they have the same needs, the same desires that we have. It's not about us being different than them. It's about what we share. I think a lot about you know, connecting the past and the future because I think I'm understanding slowly that what really constitutes now and myself is very much the sequence of things. From the perspective of the future, what is the world in 50 years from now? The path is really what makes the difference. Mm -hmm.